this problem is very exciting because uh, we actually use the signal in a in a, in a, in a audio clip like a song to predict which songs are similar right so let, let me go over what this is so we have data set of a million songs a million in indian numerical system is 10 lakh so we have 10 lakh um, uh, western musical songs and for each of these songs we have very very interesting data we have something called audio features so let me explain you what audio features are right in addition so for these 1 million songs what we have is each song is represented numerically as follows right uh, like like an array right and each of these components of the array or each of the values in the array correspond to some audio feature for example the first value could could say how many uh, how many beats are there in this in this in this musical in this song right the second thing could be uh, is is the is the pitch high or low right the third thing could be how many segments are there in the song uh, other other meta information about the actual contents of the song so please note that all of these are derived by actually looking at the song content right so for example in this case we are not using the fact that it's sung by a specific artist like a r rahman or l a raja or anybody we are actually listening to the song and we are using some mathematical operations to compute these variables about the song and these variables are super duper important uh, and by the way those of you who don't know what a pitch is what a beat is or what a segment is don't worry as part of this uh, case study or project we explain you all the domain knowledge that you need to know about music uh, to solve this problem at least of course i'm not going to tell you that I, i'll teach you all of music but certainly you learn all the important components on how to convert a song so here what we are doing is we are taking a song and converting it into a mathematical vector or uh, uh, or as a, into a computer science uh, for those of you who are from computer science we are converting it into a numerical array right because at the end of the day all of your machine learning algorithms work of numerical arrays and how to do that is 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 you is using something called feature extractors that we will learn as part of the course now given these million song data what we want to solve is two problems the first problem we want to solve is we want to cluster or we want to group similar songs so we want to group similar songs based on their content so this is called content based song similarity so another way of doing song similarity is i could say okay uh, who is the singer let's assume uh, or who is the musician so for example i could group all of ar rahman songs by the way those of you who don't know who is ar rahman is one of india's best music directors and musicians so uh, you could say that okay i'll take all of ar rahman's music albums or uh, music and i'll group it into one that's a very very simple form of grouping right for which you don't have to do machine learning if you already have the information that uh, a music snippet is played by ar rahman here what we're doing here is without using any of that information by just looking by just extracting information out of the song itself the music of the song we are trying to group similar songs this is very very exciting because this can help us let's see what happens if we can group similar songs one very nice application of grouping similar songs by actually looking into the content of the song is i can create automated playlists right i can create automated playlists which is which is which is what uh, most of your uh, which is what youtube does if you see right on youtube if you're listening to a song on youtube it gives you recommendations of other songs that you might like and one of the one of the components of that algorithm is content based uh, grouping or similarity of songs so uh, this also by the way this also is done a lot by companies like pandora uh, spotify etc which are which are which are music streaming companies very massive music streaming companies so you can create an auto automated playlist based on song similarity based on the content of the song similarity that this is one of the problems that we solve there is another problem that we solve which is given a song given a song we want to find what genre the, what genre the the song the song belongs to for example a song could belong to multiple genres right so we will also solve that problem a song could have think about it as labeling a song right so the genres could be rock or pop or it could it could be more detailed like 90s pop of course 90s pop is different from 2000s pop right or it could be it could be it could be your instrumental 
or EDM. Right? There's so many music forms out there in the world. So what we do is a genre is nothing but a music form. So given a song, we'll classify it into a music genre or multiple music genres that the song belongs to. So we're solving two sub problems here. One is grouping similar songs to build automated playlist. The second, the second problem is given a song, we'll find what the genre of the song is. So this is, this is, this is again, by the way, this is massive amount of data. Uh, it's almost a million or a 10 lakh or uh, 10 lakh songs that we work off. So this is an exciting project where we are looking into the, the music content itself so as to create an automated playlist and, uh, and understand what the genre of the song is. This is super exciting. Um, if, if you're interested in music in any way or if you listen to a lot of music, this is a problem that you would be extremely interested in. And this is something that I've been wanting to solve for a very, very long time. And here is our shot. We can solve it together.